the 3D Array tool lets you create a 3D matrix of objects. The array can be in either a rectangular arrangement or a polar arrangement. Unlike the tool used for creating a two-dimensional array, however, the 3D Array tool does not use a dialog box. All of the prompts appear on the command line or, if dynamic input is enabled, adjacent to the cursor. For a rectangular array, you select the objects to be copied and then specify the number of rows, the number of columns, and the number of levels, and then the distance between each. For a polar array, you select the objects to be copied, the number of copies to create, the angle subtended by the resulting array, and then specify the axis about which to array the objects. To array objects in 3D, click the 3D Array tool in the Modify panel of the Home ribbon. AutoCAD prompts you to select objects. You can use any convenient object selection method. In this case, I'll click to select the joist. When you're finished selecting objects, either press Enter or right-click. Next, AutoCAD asks me for the type of array. I'll choose Rectangular. Now AutoCAD needs to know the number of rows, columns, and levels. Rows align in the X direction. I need one row, so I'll press Enter to accept the default. Columns are in the Y direction, and I want eight columns, so I'll type that value and press Enter. And I need two levels in the Z direction, so I'll type two and press Enter. Next, AutoCAD needs to know the distance between the columns and the levels. I need the joist spaced 16 inches on center, so I'll enter a column distance of 16 and press Enter. The distance between levels is actually 8 foot 10, so I'll type in 8 feet 10 and press Enter. AutoCAD immediately creates the 3D rectangular array and the command ends. I'll switch to the conceptual visual style so that you can better see the results. Let's look at a practical application for the 3D Polar Array. Again, I'll click the 3D Array tool in the Modify panel. When AutoCAD prompts me to select Objects, I'll select the Lug Bolt and then right-click to complete my selection. For the type of array this time, I'll choose Polar. AutoCAD asks how many copies I want. I need five lug bolts, so I'll type 5 and press Enter. I want the bolts to fill a 360-degree angle, so I'll press Enter to accept that default value. I'll also press Enter to rotate the objects as they're arrayed. Next, AutoCAD needs to know the center point of the array. I'll snap to the center of the cylinder. AutoCAD also needs to know the second point to define the axis. Since everything is aligned to the current UCS, I can use Polar Tracking to select another point on the x-axis. As soon as I specify that point, AutoCAD creates the array and the command ends.